Constantly rethinking and recreating what emerges on the surface fascinates me. You could say I'm always on the edge of doing or not doing, and so I worry that I may have acted contrary to my goals. I guess in some ways it's like being in a state of perpetual anticipation. So there is a certain level of anxiety associated with my process. I became interested in art as a child during a family trip to Greece. My mom had a friend who was married to an artist. All it took was that one look, seeing his place filled with artwork, portraits everywhere, and even some abstract pieces. It had a real impact on me. You know, you're told as a child that art doesn't earn you a living or even provide you with security for the future. It's something I heard often enough growing up in a Greek immigrant household. You were told to go to school, study hard, and become somebody. None of which I did, of course. When something as powerful as art keeps pulling at you, you seem to find that way. You keep painting and drawing and creating as often as you can. It kept, uh, it kept tugging at me, it kept pulling at me, you know. And and I and I had other outlets for art, which were graphic arts. Like I did a little bit of graphic arts for a while, and um, and that was okay. But uh, you know, it wasn't really. You weren't able to really express yourself. You know, you had to basically do what the client wanted you to do. The work didn't provide me with enough of a creative outlet that I was looking for. So it's, that's, I think, when I decided to start painting. I think the landscape always intrigued me way before I even picked up a brush. So naturally, it was the first thing I tried painting. I had a lot of respect for its resilience and the raw energy you feel as you look at those ominous clouds just ready to take you out. But it was this other side of it that spoke to me, this enduring sense of hope and serenity. You see it expressed in those intersecting lines between our world and the natural world. About a year and a half ago, I decided to just do geometric abstraction to try and capture that same sense of serenity I felt when I looked at the landscape. I wanted there to be more of a focus towards conveying spontaneity and experimenting with movement, color, shape and form. It's important to me to see that sense of interaction throughout the work, to see it moving forward and backwards and play with the other forms, and to find that shimmer deep inside the color, something I always search for. Interaction is a funny thing, I guess. You could say it's movement captured as a still. I feel like my work is, is about continually exploring and experimenting by using these forms and colors, something that has become quite important to me in my journey as a visual artist. My journey as I see it is one of color, form and self-exploration, and I like that.